Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video link and joining me today. Uh, if this happens to be your first time here, first off, my name is Dave. And on this channel, I love to share my passion, my love for LEGO investing. I also share some about my BrickLink store and general collectible investments, uh, which is what today's video, well, I guess partly what today's video is about. Today is going to be a little bit of a gambit of hauls across a lot of different things. You can see my son Scott there, which is what the channel is named after. I get that uh, question constantly. And so it started off as a channel with me and my son. And uh, as my son's grown, it's kind of morphed into something more that's my enjoyment. But he does occasionally join me on here. The reason it was named after mm -hmm. me is because... I was basically running the channel a little bit. You were certainly the star of the channel, for sure, right? Until I got my own channel. That's that's true. He has his own channel, Wolf Plays. Yeah. Doesn't produce content a whole lot, but he's, it's you know, in school. It's probably because I don't have much time. Time is a difficult thing, and it doesn't get any easier as you get older. Today is going to be a little bit of a mix. It's going to be a haul video. A lot of general collectible investment type items that I know I'm going to be opening. I'm pretty sure I also have some Lego in there. Uh, really nothing BrickLink oriented this episode, I suppose, other than to let you know that I've been parting out sets, getting them in the store. So if you did happen to click on this video, hoping to find out about the scoop of BrickLink stuff, uh, no orders being shared this particular episode. However, uh, do know that if you go to look at the store, there are some more parts in there. I think I'm almost at around 7,000 lots, and I'm getting close to 125,000 parts. That'll be the next new big milestone. But I digress. Today is about collectible investments, and uh, I know I've got a couple Rudy items in here, and that's what we're going to start off with. So we are starting off with this, which is a double case. Uh, and I'm actually going to open this. Uh, it's a double case of Pokemon Fusion Strike. Uh, I think before I may have shared that I purchased, I think it was two booster boxes of this in the past. Uh, and then Rudy had another sale of it. The price was really good. I was excited about it. And on top of that, some interesting information about the stop tape. I thought the stop tape was factory sealed uh, tape, and it might actually be factory sealed tape. However, uh, Rudy did share in one of his... I don't know about recent videos. He's made videos about it, but I just found out that apparently uh, anyone can buy this stop tape. So it's always a good idea, even though it's got stop tape there, to take a look inside, check the contents. And honestly, the part that I'm most excited about, let me get this mic out of the way, is that that means I actually get to open the product up, show you what it looks like, and here we go. So we do have, uh, you know, some booster boxes in here. So we have Pokemon Sword and Shield Fusion Strike. And I think I have a total of one, two, three, four, five. So six booster boxes per case. And I got two cases, so we got 12 booster boxes. I don't remember the price on these. I want to say it was about $400 per case. So I think that was a, a pretty good deal. Again... I don't know exactly what it was off the top of my head. What I will do in post, though, is I will look up what I paid for these, and I'll throw it somewhere on the screen here. Okay, next item on the docket today is an order from Entertainment Earth. Uh, typically, these have all been Funko Pops, and I'm assuming this one won't be any different, but let's see what we have in here. Let's see, we've got a case of something. Oh, this actually is different. This is not... Funko Pop. So I'm a little more excited. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so here we have a case of Star Wars Black Series, the 6-inch Commander Wolf Star Wars figure. I am going to open this up. I don't know if there's any Chase figures in the Black Series line. I don't believe so. When I first signed up for my Entertainment Earth account, I kind of browsed around. I looked at a lot of stuff that I thought would be popular collectibles and ended up not stumbling across these, but I, I know that the Star Wars Black Series can do really well. And so here we have it. Star Wars Clone Commander Wolf. Uh, looks like he's got some money, muddy armor. And uh, this case appears to have eight of them. 
I'm pretty confident there are no Chase figures in the Star Wars Black Series. If for whatever reason I'm wrong though, please let me know in the comments section below. I guess regardless of whether there is or isn't, I do not have any in this package, but I have eight of these Commander Wolf uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. Do a quick assessment for what these things are actually worth and let you know if there's any profit in these today. Most of these toys and collectibles don't tend to be super profitable until after retirement. I'm assuming these are no different, but let's see what we got. All right, so apparently the going rate for these things right now on Amazon slash eBay is around $25. Now on eBay, that actually includes free shipping as well. Amazon, obviously, if you have Prime. So that gives me roughly around $5 or so profit since I had to pay for shipping. And again, that is the worst part of these packages that I get from Entertainment Earth. The shipping charges for them, I believe, are a little bit high for what they should be. And since they don't wait and hold orders to consolidate them together, uh, you end up paying on it on a lot of different packages. Not necessarily anything that you could flip for profit right now. However, the hope is that once they are retired, it'll be something that ends up uh, producing a little bit of a profit margin. And I'm excited to see what they do fingers crossed, but I don't have high hopes. I think I have one more Star Wars, I think Commander Rex or something like that, that's been on pre-order forever. I don't know if I'll actually ever end up getting that one or not, but that's what we got from Entertainment Earth. Moving on, I have another package from Rudy. Actually, I've got two of them that I pulled out here. So this first one, let's take a look. Uh, I can see a little bit of MetaZoo in here, but I don't know exactly what it is. Let's see. We have a MetaZoo Playmat. Here we go, the Cryptid Nation 2nd Edition. Okay, that's what this one is. We have a 2nd Edition printing of MetaZoo Cryptid Nation. I do have one 1st Edition of this, and then I've got some Nightfall. So we've got one booster box there. We have, going over the other side, we have a 2nd booster box inside of here. We have a MetaZoo Collectible Card Game Spellbook. I have a second spell book. I didn't remember it coming with two, but, you know, is what it is. Two of the release event boxes. And that's right, two theme decks. So here we got the, oh my gosh, Pook, Pookwood, Pook Widow Chieftain. Green one. Uh, and then this one here, I'm guessing, is red, considering it's the Salamander Queen. So we got two of those. We do also have two oops, of the blister packs with coins, both of which have a Mothman in the front, so that's kind of exciting there. And lastly, we have the Rudy card in good condition. Rudy, totally not a Timmy. Kind of some fun stuff there. Apparently there is a lot of kind of hidden Easter eggs within this card. I haven't looked yet. Okay, so the Pokemon boxes, I'm going to back up here because... I looked up the Rudy thing, and I wanted to make sure to also share the other one. Paid $1,078 for the two, which I believe means the math works out to be um, $539 per case. Six cases puts it at less than $100 a box. Hopefully that ends up doing well for me. The, the other one, which I just opened, uh, $898, but that is because it was two kits, which I'm going to guess is what this second package is. It does in fact look like another one of these packages. So here we've got the play mat that's going down. We've got our, uh, ended up getting another green theme deck. And this time we got a blue theme deck. He did make a point to call out and say that he couldn't do any guarantees on which ones you would get. Totally understandable. The only other thing I'm gonna really make a point to check We've got the Rudy card in good condition. This mic keeps moving. i got to figure out how to tighten that down. See the blister packs. Is there anything else? Nope, more Mothman cards. So uh, pretty much all the same stuff here. I ended up with two of the different packs, $898 total across the two. Two play mats, total of four booster boxes, four release decks, four theme decks, all the goodies. So for my next trick, I'm going to open this gigantic box, and I kind of already know what's in here. This is an Amazon order. This is Lego investment related. Okay, unfortunately, not all brown boxed, but 
we can see we have the Star Wars Darth Vader's Castle. Good condition, nice and sealed. Uh, I'm happy with this. Let's take a look at the other one. So we've got one. We have two. Also looks in good quality condition. We have box number three here. Sealed, good condition. Everything on the up and up so far. Let's see if we can keep this up. We have item number four. Sealed, good condition. We have item number five, interestingly enough. They kept in the brown box. Hang on, I'm going to lose this thing. The fifth one is apparently in a brown box. Do I even cut the tape on this? Yeah, I'm going to cut the tape. I just want to verify what's inside. Um, maybe that's not the best idea, but the box looked like it might have been a little bit. Everything looks great there. I know some people were asking about the date code. 11... 921 I think so this is an end of last year production last one here everything looks good this one I'll make a point to just keep sealed I suppose but we have six of the Darth Vader's castles okay continuing along the lines of my Amazon order uh, you're gonna see more of the same here folks we have another of the Darth Vader castles good condition and then we have one in brown box Two in brown box. However, this one 100% has been opened. So I need to look at this. This one might be a return item. Big question is going to be, why in the world was it returned? Box condition looks good up front. Seals look good up top. Seals look good on bottom. So I don't know why this one was cut open and resealed. But uh, everything looks in good condition there. Happy about that. Moving on. Last of the items. We have a minty sealed uh, version here. So we have a total of six of the Darth Vader castles. Ten, not six, ten. I can count. All right, so I did want to point out, so I got ten of those in total, not five, ten. And I paid $129.99 each for them, retail price. They seem to be retired at this point. However, there has been some stock slowly leaking back, and that's why I wanted to share the date codes Everyone from one of the groups that I'm in has been sharing the date codes, and they all seem to be November of last year is when they were last produced, which is important for knowing the retirement, right? If all of a sudden stock shows back up and it were to show a 2022 date, that means that these things are still being produced, which means they're not retired. So fingers crossed it'll actually finally work its way out of the system. If I sell a bunch of other stuff and see these become available... I will probably buy more. I think that set's going to do phenomenal. I think even right now when it's out of stock, you can get it on eBay or sell it on eBay for around $200, which is pretty good ROI for something that's just retired. Moving into, in essence, what is my last package of the day? I have another Entertainment Earth order. This one I'm super excited about on a personal note. I was considering purchasing one of these. Uh, it's a board game, Hero Quest, for those of you who didn't maybe grow up in the 80s. But let me see if I can show you. Oh man, they look nice. I'm gonna keep that to keep it nice and protected in here. Here we go, folks. We have Hero Quest. I've actually got the original copy over there still, albeit not in the best of shape. I do still have it. Not 100% sure if it's complete or not, but this is a amazing board game. If you haven't played this or you're looking for a fun, almost kind of D&D-ish based game that doesn't involve a, a storytelling portion of DM and just the action part, uh, this thing is an amazing game for that. And yeah, it, this was kickstarted. Uh, they did a kickstarter. They did a bunch of promotions. I didn't get in on any of that. However, I did purchase the game. And I do have pre-ordered, which hopefully shipped this month still, the two different expansions for this. Um, and I'm not going to open the other box, but I did get a total of four copies of this, which I thought was a phenomenal deal. I definitely think there is some room for margin on these. MSRP is 130 ish And my uh, distributor cost, which I don't know if I can share the cost of you, but I think there's at least... $30 or so to play with, which is pretty good. A 30% margin on an item I'm actually excited about. 
Uh, it's a lot more than the Funkos. It's definitely more than uh, the margins available on the Star Wars Black series right off the gate. The Hero Quest board game, I don't know if this one's going to be having to wait till retirement. I don't even know if this board game will retire or if they will endlessly reprint it. But I'm excited about it nonetheless, and since there is a decent margin on the product right now, uh, I figured I'd at least be able to uh, sell it locally around here, maybe for a slight discount from what MSRP is, and still make a little bit of profit. So I hope you enjoyed sharing my haul with me today. Obviously, it was all over the map. We definitely had some collectibles. We had Star Wars characters. We had trading cards. We had board games. We definitely had some very large LEGO investment sets that I'm excited about. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought was the coolest item that I purchased today and which one do you think will be the best investment moving forward. And with that, uh, we will uh, see you all next week. So thank you all so much for stopping in and spending this time with me. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye.